I think there's something way more visceral about seeing a play. There's something about it being uh, it, like an event, right? Like it's, you, you go and it's happening, it's unfolding before you, it's a moment that you get to capture in time that if you're not there, no one else will be able to enjoy it with you, right? Like, um, you, you know, everyone can turn on Netflix and see like a Netflix show and it's, it's the same show every time, you know? But to be in the theater and see the live story, <laughs> it will never be the same. Even tonight will be different than <laughs> yeah. yesterday yeah. and tomorrow will be different from tonight. And I yeah. think that's like part of the magical aspect of it. Yeah. So anything can go wrong like that's the fun part is like you there's like a weird unspoken contract of trust between audience and um, an actor where it's like I'm gonna tell you a story and you're gonna listen but that gets broken in many different ways and it's that's the fun part is like yes we spent weeks and weeks and hours in rehearsal and yes we know what we're doing but it's just like by the time we're on stage like the reason that's the reason why like I love clown so much is because like the gifts come out of things that go wrong and like things you don't expect and that can't happen in like a film or television show where things have been gone over to be like made into a certain predictable mm -hmm. structure so that's it's just it's it's playful and I think it's um it's inclusive and uh it's it's unique you can't I don't think you can get the same sort of like you're saying visceral experience from watching a film